Hello and welcome back to Restoration DIY or if you're new to the channel then it's good to have you here and I hope you all enjoy the video. Over the past year or so I've collected the waste resin in a single mixing cup and I also added some of the waste centre support pieces from previous projects and now it's full. So this time I thought I would do something a bit different. An egg has long been overdue so without further ado let's get into it. After fixing the blank in the forge or chuck and firmly holding it in place with a tailstock, the first job was to clean up the end and cut a tenon. To do this I used a 3 8 bowl gouge and a quarter inch parting tool. I had tried to remove the mixing cup from the blank prior to fixing it to the lathe, but it was pretty well stuck so I figured the bowl gouge would be an easy way to get rid of it, but this created a lot of chipping which I would have to deal with later on. With that done, I moved on to cutting the tenon. With the tenon cut, I just had the end to clean up. I gently nibbled away at the waste, thinking the piece was being held in the chuck. I had one final check before cutting away the last little bit, but the chuck wasn't gripping, and I had to use my parting tool to hold it in place till the lathe stopped. The blank turned around and the chuck jaws firmly holding the tenon and the tailstock for a bit of added security, I could set about shaping the egg. Most of this was done with the Easy Wood Tools full size finisher and the skew chisel. Whilst the resin cut very easily, I wasn't sure what to expect. Some of it was getting on for being 12 months old and also none of this has been in the pressure pot, so I wasn't sure if there would be any voids I would have to fill as I went along. To begin with I concentrated on the upper part of the egg, and I did uncover a couple of voids, but the bigger problem was chipping in the first bit of the resin I collected. It was very brittle, and it was originally orange, but I remember the project it came from took a week to cure, so the mica colorant had had time to settle to the bottom, leaving this bit crystal clear. I decided to remove most of the troublesome resin. This meant I lost some of the height, which would lead to a smaller egg, but it needed to be done. After that, I continued getting it roughly to shape, using the skew chisel to hone the surface as I went along. Tailstock removed, I could work on the top, blending the curves into the lower part of the egg. But the chipping was still there, and I didn't want to remove any more, so I focused on the lower bit till I could decide what to do with it. The base of the egg was going to be a bit of a challenge. I wanted it to be properly shaped, but this would require some kind of stand, so I decided early on that this would have a flat spot, so it stand upon its own.
basic form was now done. The skew chisel was great for blending and fairing the surface and removing the tool marks left by the carbide cutter. I had a quick check on Google Images to confirm I was in the correct ballpark for an egg shape, and apart from a final couple of passes, that was more or less it. Then I had to fix the chipping. For the damaged area, I applied black starbond super glue with an activator to rapidly cure it. Once cured, I power sanded it with 80 grit to remove most of it, then I applied a bit more to fill in the gaps, followed by more sanding from 80 to 3000 grit. Sanding done, off camera, I removed what was left of the base and then I cleaned down with denatured alcohol. Then I applied sanding sealer, just one coat, which I denibbed with a non-abrasive scotch pad. Up next, Yorkshire Grit Microfine Abrasive Paste just one coat, cleaned away until no more is picking up on the paper towel. Then the resin polishing. First up, Merca Polishine 10, a single coat. This is polished off with more paper towel, ready for the next Merca product, Polishine 5. Another single coat, buffed away to leave a deep shine. And last but not least, Hampshire Sheen Gloss Finishing Wax. Two coats polished off to seal and protect the surface. That's it, another project finished, and this one turned out okay. The layers of colours give an interesting effect, and there is even a moon or a sunrise set against a deep blue sky. Let me know what you think. I'd like to thank you all for watching. I'll be back in the new year with new projects and some will be quite different from the usual wood turning. So if you haven't already, please subscribe. A thumbs up will be great and comments are always welcome. I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye for now.